Hello, Victoria and Prepper here. I want to teach you how to can brownies today. Just regular brownies. We're going to put what the directions say on the back. So this one calls for three eggs in water in oil. So I've got two batches in the bowl already. See? And I'm going to be putting them in these little jars. Now, this is not the first time that I made these. I made these last year and had them all throughout the year. And what's amazing is people's faces when they try them. My, my directions are, is to open it up, put this into the microwave for 20 seconds, and eat it. Best way to have it is with caramel in the middle. <clears throat> so, but anyways, I have got my um, oven heating for the regular brownie time, and I'm going to be scooping in half of a jar. And I can tell you horror stories about when you don't put half, but we're only going to do half. So, right about there. Maybe, oh, now, you know, that's half from the rim. That's half. So we're just going to do this. But you can also do this with um, quick breads. Oh, that wasn't a good idea. Ugh. But I have done this with zucchini and uh, cranberry nut bread. And the horror story is going to be that when you make them and you put them too high the whole thing just erupts like a volcano and um yeah it's not good it's not good at all only halfway but let me fill these jars up and i'll bring you back hi so now we're ready to put in our middle i'm just going to be trying to tape something this is schmucker's uh, side scrapers. Uh, they use it for ice cream and stuff, but um, it is good in brownies. So I'm going to take and put in about a quarter size in all of my jars. And then, um, which, guess what? I already did because I thought I was taping. And I wasn't. I was just taking pictures. <laughs> so that is done. Steve has wiped the jars. And they're actually ready to go into the oven. So I'm going to flip you around, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Okay, so here we are. Here's what they look like. And it made uh, two and three jar cases. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna open the oven and shove them in. You know, I don't know if they're gonna fit side by side. I have a feeling they might, but we will find out. Mm. Oh, we are gonna be shy. We're having tilty brownies. Do we want that? I don't know. I think I might uh, do some flipping around and raise the lid. All right, we fixed that. We put a spoon under there, and that'll work. So now we just time it to what the box says. And let's see what it says. Yeah, I don't see it. Three to five minutes. What? I'm sure it's here, but I don't see it. Maybe you do. Oh, there we go. 20, 23 minutes. But we're going to keep checking it because it's going to cook different in your mix, in your uh, jars. So we'll uh, keep checking it. Bring you back. All right, we're going to check Let's see where we are with the brownies. Ooh, look at them go. And see what a half does? It gets it really high, actually. But I'm going to go with they're not done. But let's see. 
Um, let's see. Yeah, a little bit more. But they're looking good. We'll give them another five minutes. Uh, All right, we've got a couple minutes. Uh, I just wanted to go over because my video quality stinks. And I was taking pictures of myself and I thought I was videoing. So we missed the whole half of the wiping of the jars, which most of you know, but just in case, let's just go over everything really quick. So regular brownie mix. Oh, look at that. Eat. Regular brownie mix, follow the instructions. And then we're going to put them in the jars. And then we're going to put our middle in. So if you want caramel or um, the Smucker's scrapers there, uh, plate scrapers, not side scrapers. <laughs> but uh, you can put those on top like a quarter size. And then we're just going to wipe down the jars and make sure that there's no chocolate on the edges or on the top because you're going to, the how you're going to can these, and anybody can do this, is you're going to just put the top on and screw the lid on, lid on and they will seal, most of them. And you still have your little weirdos that don't want to, but you can eat those. Mm, so good. So right now we're waiting for them to come out of the oven. And uh, this is such a simple process. You don't need a canner for this. And you can do cakes, quick breads. You can do bigger jars. Don't overfill them. Halfway, I'm telling you, I decided to put a little more in because I was greedy. And I wasted two batches of zucchini bread and that's a lot of money when you buy all the ingredients and you didn't grow them. So I was mad, but I learned my lesson and I don't do that anymore. So I'm gonna just tell you right off the bat, don't do it. Just fill it halfway because you saw how far they, ri they rise, you know, at the end there. So we're just waiting for them to come out easy process and uh, just a little bit of comfort food for the, when the shit hits the fan kind of thing and just just to have because let me tell you sometimes you're watching TV don't you feel like god I wish I had a brownie a little ice cream uh, hmm guess what you can go in your pantry grab a jar and take it out and eat it mm -mm -mm. that is the beauty of this is that you don't have to cook, you just do it once in a while. Like I said, I, I cooked a couple batches and we're not huge brownie eaters, but once in a while we want a brownie. And there's so many delicious ways to have it um, that I'm sure you're gonna enjoy this, but I will let you go because I gotta take those darn brownies out in a minute. So I'll bring you back and show you what they look like and what how to finish the process. All right, here we go. They are done. You can see that our little dollop of raspberries are gone. So, but what I can tell you is if we're gonna come over here, we're gonna see a couple of them are over the edge. So it's important to get the top on them quick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to take this off. And you're gonna see a little gooeyness in there. That's okay. All right, so now we're going to throw the top on. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw all the All right, they're already on. Some of them are already starting to seal. And the thing is, is that you want to get these on as quick as possible. So if you have this many, you might want two people here just to hurry up and get them on. Now, they're going to continue cooking for a little while. So <clears throat> any gooeyness is fine because think about it. A lot of us take our brownies out early. So we do get that chewy gooeyness in there. <clears throat> so it's fine. And you're going to absolutely love this recipe. And it's going to be delicious. 
So that is that. This is how we do it. And uh, I will uh, see you again. This is Victoria. Victoria and Prepper signing off. Yep. All right. I'm trying mom's canned brownie. Gross. This is so good. It tastes so gooey and so yummy. And I think that's caramel.